let's read this word of god deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 6 onwards we read five onwards we read like this blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl verse 6 These are the blessings God is promising for those people who listen to the word of God and diligently observe it. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Blessed shall be when you come in and blessed shall be when you go out. What does it mean? Blessed shall you be when you come in and going out means every activity of in your life. In every activity you will be blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse 7 we read like this. Verse 7 The Lord will cause your enemies who now until now the blessings of prosperity blessings of financial blessings blessings in your personal life now the word of God is promising you blessings of protection let's repeat the lord will cause your enemies the lord, lord will, will cause, cause your, your enemies who rise against you who rise, rise against, against you to be defeated before you to, to be, be defeated, defeated before, before you. you they shall come out against you one they, way they shall, they shall come, come out against, against you one way, way and flee before you seven ways and flee before you seven ways praise the lord praise the lord now it's very interesting to read these things when you are diligently follow and observe the word of god the enemies your god will give you protection god will give you protection your enemies will come against you in one way and they will flee before you seven ways praise the lord praise the lord because you have word of god one example when jesus was in the in when he was fasting uh, 40 days the devil came to attack him to tempt him with temptations of every kind from the day one till the last day every day he was tempted one gospel it said he was tempted the last day the devil came and tempted another gospel say oh those 40 days he was being tempted and the last day was the peak of the temptation and then how did jesus chase this devil out he caught a three word of god from the old testament first temptation he quoted one word of god second temptation another word of god third temptation the third one with which he just escaped the satan ran away from him so this is what happens if you have the word of god you have a powerful weapon to attack the evil one praise the lord praise the lord let's repeat this word of god matthew chapter 4 verse 10 Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 Matthew chapter 4, 4 verse 10. 10 Let's remember all those who are all the temptations that you face in your daily life and let's repeat this word of God you are commanding these using this word of God and commanding the temptations of the evil one to go away from your family your personal life repeat after me jesus said to him jesus said to him away with you satan away with you satan for it is written for it is written worship the lord your god worship the lord your and god and serve only him and serve only him away with you satan away with you satan for it is written for it is written worship the lord your god worship the lord your god and serve only him and serve only him away with you satan away with you satan for it is written for it is written worship the lord your god worship the lord your god and serve only him and serve only him was 11 we read like this and then the devil left him and then the devil left then him then the devil left him then the devil left and him and suddenly and suddenly angels came and waited on him angels came and waited on him praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters when you use the word of god and pray devil will leave you if you don't use the word of god and using all the words from all the people of the world and quotations from the so called famous in, in important people of this world it won't help you many people just quote many uh, literary stars of this world and famous leaders of the world and quoting left and right quotations from all these people it will only give you some information for your brilliance your intelligence intellect but the quotations from the bible will convert you change you transform you pierce you and make you cry praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus because it those are living words the other words are just dead people's dead words but this one is a living word my word is living and active god's word is living and active 
praise the lord praise the lord